Well, at 649 this morning, we're learning more about the elementary school shooting in Texas that killed 19 children and two teachers. Officials say this began around 11 o'clock Tuesday morning when the suspect posted an online message saying that he was going to shoot his grandmother. She survived and then went to a neighbor's house to call police. Then officials say 15 minutes before the shooting, he wrote another message saying, I'm going to shoot an elementary school. Officials say he was able to get inside Robb Elementary School with an AR-15 rifle. Authorities say that rifle was potentially one that he had just legally bought after turning 18. He barricaded himself inside of that classroom for roughly 30 minutes before being killed by police. Now, during a news conference yesterday, Texas Governor Greg Abbott said the the gunman had no criminal history. That news conference interrupted by Democrat gubernatorial candidate Beto O'Rourke. I ask the sheriff and others an open in a question. The question was, what is the problem here? And they were straightforward and emphatic. They said, we have a mental, we, we have a problem with mental health illness in this community. It is insane. The governor talks about mental health. It is insane that we allow an 18 year old to go in and buy an AR-15. What the hell did we think he was going to do with that? Many of the students who were killed were in the fourth grade and officials confirm all of them were in a single classroom led by teachers Irma Garcia and Eva Morales. Relatives say that they appeared to be trying to protect those children when they were fatally shot. And in the wake of Tuesday's school shooting, many are asking what we can do to prevent this from happening again. But right now, there's little consensus, consensus on Capitol Hill in Washington about ways to move forward. Ixa Diaz is in Washington. Patrick, discussions are underway from background checks to red flag laws, but it's uncertain those talks will lead to action. Members of Congress agree the mass shooting in Uvalde was horrific and heartbreaking. Our country is sickened and outraged by the senseless evil that struck Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. But what happens now? Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says the Senate will soon vote on a pair of House bills that expand background checks and the waiting period before buying firearms to 10 days. If the slaughter of school children can't convince Republicans to buck the NRA, what can we do? Democrats could act alone if they get rid of the filibuster, which requires 60 votes in the Senate to pass legislation. That would need the support of all 50 Democratic senators. And Joe Manchin of West Virginia isn't on board. Filibuster should not be needed at all to be even talking about throwing out the one tool that we have that gets us, that keeps us working and at least talking together. Without that, we've had nothing. After the Sandy Hook massacre in 2012, Manchin and Republican Pat Toomey co-sponsored a bill that requires background checks for commercial gun sales. That bill failed then, but is back on the table now. There's a group of us who are going to get together and we're going to discuss this and see if um, we might be able to get to 60 with anything close to that. Red flag laws, which some states already have in place, are also being considered at the federal level to keep guns away from people who could be a harm to themselves or to others. In Washington, I exit as to BYFF News 4. The head of the FDA is describing what he calls shocking conditions at an Abbott baby formula plant in Michigan. Now, it was shut down in February and its formula recalled. The FDA chief yesterday describing bacteria growing from multiple sites in that facility, damaged equipment, leaks from the roof, and standing water. After reaching a deal with the FDA, Abbott says it plans to reopen that facility on June 4th. More items are being recalled in connection with the GIF peanut butter recall. Initially, there were more than 45 types of peanut butter products recalled due to potential salmonella contamination. In the latest updates, the FDA says Mary's Harvest, Country Free, Tahir, and Garden Cut. These brands are voluntarily recalling products as well. The recalled items include fruit snack trays and celery snack cups that contain GIF peanut butter. You can go to the FDA's website for more information on the recall. At 6.53, turning to sports this morning, for the first time in the program's short history, the Clemson softball team is playing in the NCAA Super Regionals. The team is in Stillwater, Oklahoma right now to play Oklahoma State in a best-of-three series. Game one of that series is tonight, first pitch at 9.30.